Welcome to the Dog Nerd Show, where we geek out over our best friends. I'm Megan. And I'm Michael, and this is a show about all things dog. Hey, everybody. Welcome to the show. We are so excited to talk about the Newfoundland today. And before we get started, wanted to let you know that this episode is brought to you by the Riley Carson book series. It is a mystery and adventure series for kids nine and up that is like Nancy Drew meets Animal Rescue. So if you're a dog lover and you love a good mystery and a whodunit and a lot of adventure, check them out. Doesn't matter what age you are. And you can nope. find more at RileyCarsonSeries.com, including a free prequel. Wow. That, uh, yeah. Everybody likes free. Yes. Yes. So let's talk about the newfoundland which is by the way a very i don't know why i have trouble pronouncing a lot of things but i have trouble pronouncing this one so i have to say newfoundland or it's you just say newfie and i'll say newfoundland okay i'll say newfie okay so uh they are of course excellent swimmers with webbed feet which our dog fellow dog nerds probably know this um we're not telling you something you don't know but uh, i learned a couple of things in doing our research so according to the akc.org lewis and clark had a uh, Newfoundland named Seaman, and he ran off rogue buffalo on one instance, uh, saving the the group. What a hardy dog he had to be, too. I mean, that's that's, <laughs> that's it's not it's not an easy adventure. Can you imagine just driving from there to there now, from from the east coast to the west coast. Now, just driving, you'd be wore out. Yeah, yeah. So exactly. So what's interesting is that. Um, Seaman is depicted in uh, 10 Lewis and Clark monuments across the U.S. So uh-huh. how awesome that, because I mean, think about it. If not for the dog, mm-hmm. Lewis and Clark and their group would not have finished their route because the wild buffalo, the buffalo would have got them. So yeah. the other thing that is super cool is that I did not know this and I'm going to read right from the AKC website. Um, so, a popular tourist attraction in England where Newfies have always been a, a favorite. Mm-hmm. Um, there's a monument that Lord Byron erected at Newstead Abbey. And I don't know where this is. And I, I wish I had gone there when I was living there. Um, but he had a cherished Newfoundland named Boatswain. And he erected a monument that, of course, you know, he being the poet that he was, he wrote this beautiful passage Quote, who possessed beauty without vanity, strength without insolence, courage without ferocity, and all the virtues of man without his vices. Mm, And another interesting note was that he regarded his Newfoundland boatswain so highly that his tomb was larger than Byron's tomb. Wow. Yeah. That's super impressive. Yeah. So that was really, really cool. And... um. Before yeah. we jump into it, we want to just make sure y'all like, subscribe. Yeah, yeah. So let so, Michael do the. <laughs> so so give us a thumbs up. It really helps us help us with the uh, algorithm, uh, and also uh, you know drop in a um, you know a comment below if you're if you're watching on YouTube if you're if you're listening to us on a podcast, please you know give us a review. Um, you know that helps us a lot there as well. Uh, share this with other people. Uh, we would appreciate that. And then, uh, you know, subscribe. If you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And you can go down and right down here somewhere is a is a bell. And you can click that bell and it'll let you know when we have new episodes. Yeah, all this helps us out a ton. And in order for us to keep doing this, we really need that support. So let's now meet Sabrina and her brown Newfoundland, because I don't see them very often, mm-hmm. Oliver. Me too. We are here with Sabrina and her Newfoundland. And what's his name? His name is Oliver. And Oliver is a brown Newfie. I don't think I've ever seen one. Yep. He is part of the standard color. So we're here showing today. He also did farm dog this morning. He got his farm dog title. Wow. And he also runs Fast Cat. So he'll be over there running Fast Cat. Oh my gosh. He can run 22 miles an hour. Are you serious? (laughs) Pretty good for a Newfoundland. Wow. (laughs) Now, is that so that's fast for a Newfie? It is pretty fast for a Newfie. Yep. Yep. Now, um, I would guess this breed probably sheds. He's, yep, they do shed, absolutely. Um, he, they have a thick undercoat. They're, you know, they were bred for water rescue. So they're from, they're from Canada, New, uh, Newfoundland originally. Yeah. And um, 
so he does do water rescue also. Wow. So, yep, and then they also do drafting. So in the in the in the winters when in Canada they would help with the farmers bring in wood and yeah. stuff like that. So, so, so he does do all of that. He's he's titled. He has a he's a draft title. Um, he does have his championship. So we're working on his grand championship here today. So um, a true working, a true showing working dog. dog. Yep. That's fantastic. He absolutely is. We're doing everything that the, they were bred to do. That's so. wonderful. Yeah, we're having a lot of fun. He's my dream dog. I've Aww. wanted a Newfoundland since I was a little girl. And so. he just looked up at you with he's his a good beautiful boy. eyes. He's a like, lot of boys. I know, Mama. Yeah. So, <laughs> so um, are they big barkers? He's not a big barker. Okay. Yeah. Not. And is that not normally. Typical for. I think. I think that's typical yeah. of the breed. So yeah. I also I have another one at home too, and she's not a big barker either. Okay. Um, they're really pretty easy keepers. They do shed a lot, but they don't. They're not a super high energy dog. Okay. They're pretty low maintenance, other than the other than the shedding. shedding. And yeah. do you, are brushing. you just brushing them? Okay. We brush them. I don't probably don't brush them as much as I should, should but um, but we do. You know, we do keep them brushed, keep the undercoat because we do live here in Georgia. Okay. Yeah. So. Um, so a lot more shedding because it's warmer. Probably, yeah, in yeah. the summer. And we have we have water on our property, so he swims every day. Nice. And he lives inside. We keep the house pretty cold for him during the summer months. So what's that maintenance like if he's swimming? And the, do you have to bathe him after? Or? I don't bathe him every time after yeah. he swims, but he gets a bath probably every two weeks. Yeah. yeah. So especially when we're showing. Yeah, you know, absolutely. Have to keep, the coat, keep the coat clean and nice and sort of looking like it is now. Now, would you say this would be a good dog for a first-time dog owner? I think he could be a, okay if you really did your research. Yeah. They're pretty easy keepers, okay. so, I mean, as long as you're prepared for the hair and, you know, they do drool a lot. Okay. So you do have to be prepared for a lot of drool. Okay. If that's something that you don't like, then you should definitely reconsider having a Newfoundland. That's good There's to know. a lot of drool, so. <laughs> <laughs> and, um... Oh goodness! But they I have a lovely temperament. They also were nanny. You know, a lot of people call them nanny dogs. They're wonderful with children. Okay. So, um, and I do. I have a grandson, so and he's great with him. And are they easy to train? They do have a stubborn streak. Okay. They do. Yeah. So I mean, he's pretty easy to train, uh, but they can tend to have a little bit of a stubborn streak. They're pretty. They're independent. Yes. He's, I would say he's a little bit of an independent dog. Okay. Which makes sense when these independent workers they have to go out and do yep. stuff without you telling them exactly, exactly what to do. Yep. yep. Um, he's a big boy. How much does he weigh? He weighs 170 pounds. Wow. <laughs> <He does>. Wow. <laughs> But with good training, very easy to handle. We started, you know, from the moment we brought him home, we started the training. Sitting, staying, you know, not pulling on a leash. It's easier to train them when they're little than to try to train them when they're this size. Yeah. So we, we were very, very strict and diligent about his training when he was young. That's That so makes a lot a of sense. Difference. Yeah. He's on a buckle collar. I don't have to, you know, he, no. he's trained not to pull. But I think that's really important to start at a really young age, that's, really with any dog. That's, that's true, but especially such especially a, large a large breed. breed. That's, yep. I never really thought about that. But yeah, you're right. Yep. Smaller dog, you can maybe get away with retraining if they're older. But yep. Yep. yeah. Um, with a big dog, it's hard. I mean, it, I've heard people get pulled down by them. And, you know, sure. if they see something, if they, you know. But he also has a good recall. So, I, you know, he's easy to. Again, the I training. usually stop. Yeah, I can yeah. usually tell him to. I can tell what's going to happen and yeah. tell him to behave before he bolts. So. And um, health concerns for this breed, are there many? There are. They, um, they can have a heart, a heart condition, so it's really important to, to make sure if you're going to get a Newfoundland that you, you do your research and you find a reputable breeder mm -hmm. because there are a lot of breeders out there that aren't doing all the health testing. Yep. They do, we do eye testing. We test their elbows. We test their hips. They do, we do, do echocardiograms on them okay. so um, to check their heart and make sure their heart is okay. Stay here, bud. The dog is so, beautiful. Thank you. I just had to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, yeah, so, so it's to... really important, especially with these larger breeds, if you don't do your research and find a, a reputable breeder, then you, they can be very, very expensive. The heart, the heart issues can be very expensive to treat. Um, and un unfortunately, a lot of them can die at a young age if, they, if they're born with that. So, What is really, the life expectancy? Um, I've heard that there was a lady here that just told me a few minutes ago that she had a Newfoundland that lived to be 15. Wow. So I think their average lifespan is probably around 12, 12 yeah, to 13. That's um, great for the Newfoundland Club of America has a special um, category for dogs over 10. So that, that's when they're considered, I think eight is considered a veteran. Mm -hmm. So, um, but yeah, they are living, they can live to be to be a good old age so that is I'm awesome. hoping I get to have him that long yes so, how old is he now he's three Aww. 
Yes, let's hope for many, many, many yes, more years. I hope so. And anything else that people should know about the breed? I don't think so. I mean, they're just a really fun, easygoing, you know, lovable breed. People ask me all the time if he's a great snuggler, and we live in the South, so he gets hot. Yeah. But he is really fun to snuggle with. So. I bet <laughs> I could just wrap my arms around, yeah. and that. he's super soft right now since we're showing yes. too. So. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for asking us to do this. Yeah. We appreciate it. You're a beautiful boy. Say thank you. Wow, what a cool interview with Sabrina and Oliver. I mean, isn't he just glorious? Oh, I'm telling you, <laughs> just just regal and everything about him is just it's super cool. Yeah, I, I bet that's a lot of fur to shed and groom, though. You know, that's a, that's a lot of upkeep. So think about that if you are thinking of a Newfoundland for your family. Um, but you guys, you can find us everywhere on social media at Dog Nerd Show. Drop us a line, dognerdshow at gmail.com if you have any questions or if you would like to be interviewed to talk about your breed. And we love your comments. If you have a new fee or have had experience with them, please let us know in the comments. We really love hearing from y'all. And until next time, folks, bye. Bye. Bye.